hear from Willie that it was kind of like a statistical uh, tie almost, it seems like, between uh, Alex and James in terms of how you graded them out. In your mind, what was, what was the determining factor in, in picking James or feeling more comfortable with James? Um, you know, I think, I think James being here longer was probably one of the deciding factors just because he, you know, had a little bit better chemistry with the guys and run the offense a little bit longer. So um, both guys, to me, I feel like we got two starting quarterbacks. So I think we're in a great position with the quarterback room. And, um, and Alex is in uh, great shape mentally, and um, he's ready to contribute and help any way that he can. You mentioned on media day, everyone talks about James as just leadership ability, but in terms of his physical talent, I mean, he, he's up to, to par to, to perform in this offense for you guys? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Boise has a pretty talented edge rusher and, and weaver. I yep. guess, what, what are you seeing from him, and how are you guys game, game planning for him? Yeah, a real explosive guy. Um, makes a lot of plays. Um, They've done a good job with him from a schematic standpoint as well. They put him in good positions to be successful. Definitely a guy you got to know where he's at on the field. So, you know, I think he's preseason All-American and, and got all those things. So, uh, the guy's really talented. We've got to know where he's at, for sure. Are you happy where the offense is coming out of camp? Are you get kind of installed what, what you wanted to? Yeah, um, you know, we're healthy, the main thing. Um, get all those guys through camp and uh, be ready to go here on Tuesday and have all the guys we want to have. So, that's a big deal. Um, but I think the, the understanding of what we're doing offensively is there, and um, we need to have a great week of practice. I know you're sideline with the quarterback calling plays in the game. Do you go to Telly upstairs for eyes in the sky, or do you have additional people up there that kind of provide you a look, or do you not worry about having that view from those guys? No, we've got a couple guys in the box that we'll cross check everything for. Um, and, you know, I, I feel like. It's, you don't have to be in the box to see the field. You know, when you're on the field all the time, you can you can see most things. Uh, some of the things on the far side of the field, those guys can help you out with. But uh, we've got great, great assistants, GAs, uh, analysts, guys that are going to be helping us, and uh, um, guys that I've worked with for a while. So those guys will know exactly what we're, we're looking for and need to get done. So I think we have a good operation. Is Mark one of those guys that you have up there yeah, helping Mark you? Mark and Michael and Anthony. Are there any challenges presented by a 3-3-5 that maybe a 3-4, 4-3 doesn't give to you? I'll say that one more time. So are there any challenges just to come with a 3-3-5 defense that you don't necessarily see with a 3-4 or 4-3? Um, I don't think challenges, no, sir. Um, you know, they're multiple in what they do as far as boys. I guess that's what you're asking about. They, they run, you know, three down, four down, and different coverages on the back end. So, um, you know, we've been studying them, been studying Eastern Washington, where Coach Smedding is from, and he's, he's going to be calling defense now. So um, I think we've got a good feel of what those guys are, are going to do. and. Obviously, Coach Harson's done an amazing job there. So uh, those guys are really confident. They win a lot of games, and uh, you know, we'll be ready to go. Coach said yesterday that he felt the defense, if he had to pick a winner from the second scrimmage, it would be the defense. How did you think the offense performed in that second scrimmage? He said the defense? Yeah, I think if he said he had to pick a winner, it would be the defense. <laughs> but it didn't sound like it's it was by a big margin. The foot. Uh, no, the defense played well, and you know we had some guys make plays, and we had, had one turnover that we don't want to have. but. Uh, you know, when they have Marvin in there and Marvin's healthy, that guy's really hard to block. Uh, he's very disruptive. So um, I think he's going to have a tremendous year, and he looks really good. But um, defensively, we've got really good personnel as well. So um, I'm looking forward to watching those guys play. How much does it help to have, it seems like, the same five or six offensive linemen at the, as the starting five? I know right guard has kind of rotated a little bit. But how much does that help for cohesion? That it seems like it's been those same five for most of camp. Yeah, I mean, those guys got to be on the same page you know, more than really anybody else on the football field. And uh, Coach Clements and, and Jay Gray, our GA, they've done a great job working with those guys. And, um, you know, it, it's always always developing, always getting better. Um, so we've got to continue to do that at every position, not just offensive line. But I feel like those guys are playing pretty good right now. Let's go one more for Coach. You talked during fall camp about kind of watching Virginia Tech game last year and kind of saying that's not the Florida State like I have seen before. That's not really what Florida State should be. How important is this first game for coming out, changing that perception, and really setting the standard? Just win. I mean, I, I seriously, I do not care. If we have 250 yards on offense, score seven points, and we win the football game, I'll be celebrating just with everybody else. So that's the main goal is to win games. And they don't ask how, they miss it. ask how many. And um, we want to be 1-0. Perfect.